everybody, it's Miss Lynn from Mill Creek Metro Parks. Can you guess where we're at today? That's right, we're at Daffodil Meadow, where the daffodils are almost in peak bloom. Couple more days of sunshine and it is going to be glorious here. Take a look. Of course, we're on the east side of Lake Newport. Um, and you may remember that East Newport Drive was closed uh, for some road construction. Well, they have opened it up until you get to Daffodil Meadow, so you can drive your car up here um, and come and enjoy the beautiful daffodils, the beautiful uh, coming of springtime. Um, here at Daffodil Meadow, you'll find some interpretive signage. Be sure and, and stop and uh, read the signage. It always gives you some interesting information. A landscape architect, Warren H. Manning, who was a consultant for the Lake Newport design, encouraged large plantings to catch the eyes of the visitors as they toured in their automobiles. In 1932, as part of the beautification of the Lake Newport area, the Garden Club of Youngstown purchased some 8,000 daffodil bulbs, which were planted on site to create Daffodil Meadow. And the bulbs were planted in mass in order to catch the eye. Now, the Garden Club of Youngstown, established in 1915, is one of the area's oldest garden clubs. And they, they guess how much they paid for those original 8,000 daffodils in 1932? $40. Um, now, improvements were made at, here at Daffodil Meadows back in 2015. And it was again funded by the Garden Club of Youngstown as they were celebrating their 100th anniversary. Here throughout Daffodil Meadow, you'll find some historical varieties of daffodils, Emperor and Empress, hybridized back in, way back in 1869. And there are some older varieties here that can't be identified. Now, Brent Heath, the owner of Brett and Becky's Bulbs down in Virginia and a daffodil bulb expert, he called Mill Creek Metro Parks Daffodil Meadow one of the best daffodil collections in the country. And back in 2009, Mill Creek Metro Parks was named as a USA Today's top place to see daffodils. There are also daffodils across the, across the road And a visit to Daffodil Meadow has really become quite the family tradition for many here in the Mahoning Valley. And visitors flock to the meadow to see over 1,000 daffodils blooming at the same time. I found a, a picture online, Dr. Jim. Does that show up pretty good for you it that does. way? It looks good. Um, and it was taken back in 1968, taken by a Marilyn Troube. Um, and remember when photographs looked like that and they had the date on the side? Well, this is her memory from Daffodil Meadow back in April of 1968. So the next, this next couple of days, this next weekend, we should be seeing some peak uh, daffodils here at Daffodil Meadow. So be sure and come down and visit um, the beautiful array of daffodils here at Mill Creek Metro Parks. Thanks for joining us and we hope to see you again in the park sometime soon. Bye-bye everybody.